What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the free-to-play account showcase as of April 2024. If you guys enjoy videos like these, man, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. I post these every single month, showcasing how much I've progressed on the free-to-play account, guys. So let's hop in and let's actually discuss what we've done on the account since the last time we've, uh, you know, uh, looked at it. So, um, for my characters here, guys, the only thing I think that's new on my account... Um, in the past like bit that I've gotten I think is the new Gelter. Um, I don't think I pulled any other new units in terms of uh, the actual banner itself I could be wrong though um, if I would, it would be down here. Um, I did get Festival Gother though from the uh, free to play or free festival they gave out, right? So I did select him. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much the main thing though, guys, is that we did get the brand new Gother. Um, you know, I know a lot of people were you know kind of wondering whether you should summon or not, and my decision that I decided to do on my free to play account was go for one copy no matter what, and uh, yeah, stop whenever we get the copy. And guess what, guys? We got uh, the Gother. Uh, if we go to the banner here, we got him at 600, so I stopped right at the 600 the moment I got him. Um, I did not sink any more gems into the banner, because I just don't see any value in chasing dupes on this character, you know. Um, just having the character in general is going to be fine uh, just alone, um, and I wasn't really worried about dupes or anything like that, and I wanted to save my gems, considering we know, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of things coming up in the game, and uh, yeah, I just think it's no, not really worth to actually spend my gems uh, past 600, or even past the, the point I pulled the, pulled the Gelter, right? Yeah, um, I think other than that though guys, nothing really too much has changed on the account. Um, I think, oh wait, was LR Zelda, yeah, LR Zelda did release actually though, so I did get him. Um, you know, Geldo is uh, released alongside uh, LR Zelda's uh, LR Awakening, so I did actually awaken him. He was already 6 out of 6, so this was really good. Um, another really strong link on my free-to-play account that I can use now for, you know, whenever I give it to a character as a link. Um, definitely a really nice uh, link that I have now. Um, you know, in terms of his outfits, I don't have, like, any uh, extra outfits other than the free-to-play ones for Zelda's, so, you know, it's not, like, super, super crazy in terms of CC. I mean, I'm, like, 68k uh, on HP defense, right? Yep. Yeah, it's like nothing super crazy. So, uh, yeah, that is my LR Zeldris right there. My LR Queen count is at 179 out of 200. I think I honestly lost track of this, guys, past the the event we had during the Chaos Arthur celebration because we had a lot going on during then. And even now with the uh, Gother Festival, like, um, there has been events that I have given out uh, LR Queens. Even, like, the Final Boss Hawk, I still have to do um, in terms of getting the uh, LR Queens from it. You guys, you guys can see right here. So, yeah, there's just a lot of things that give you LR Queens nowadays. And so I'm not really, like, stressing too much on LR Queens themselves. So there is that. Um, other than that, though, guys, the uh, I don't think the box CC has really improved too much. Um, but, yeah, let me just scroll through my box here just to show you guys what we got going on. Um, we are in the April Fool's event at the moment. So you guys can see some of the uh, arts there are April Fool's uh, themed. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that, though, guys. Just kind of scrolling through here. This is what the box is looking like. I always make sure to get my characters level 60 at the minimum, uh, no matter what. So, uh, there is that. Uh, but, yeah. There we go, guys. So, that is the uh, character selection right there. Um, let's move on to the inventory and talk about uh, things I actually did for my inventory. So, the first thing you guys might notice is the 10 items from the new Raditas for Demonic Beast. So, that is one thing that I actually did do. If we go to the Raditas here here. Um, I did get my floor two clear already. And uh, yeah, I think, um, as I mentioned already on my live stream and whenever I do Ratatoska, I always recommend, like, if you have this team, guys, um, I think uh, someone said they did it at 5 million box DC, floor 1 and 2. So if you're able to do floor 1 and 2 at only 5 million box DC, it's definitely doable for, like, a majority of you guys that do want to attempt this. So I do recommend doing it because you get one here, you get two here, you get one here, so that's four. And then if you go to the World Tree Shop, you get an extra copy as well. Um, in terms of the exchange shop here, so you go to the nether one, you get another one, so that's going to be five every single week, and if you grind the SSR material, you'll be able to get Miles Relic in only three weeks, guys, so that is something that I decided to do on the free-to-play, and next week on the next reset, when I do floor two uh, of Reddit Tosker, I'll be able to make Miles Relic, I just got to get the uh, the SSR material right now in terms of grinding that, but uh, other than that, I'll be uh, okay, I'm at 12 right now, so I'll have to grind another, like, 15 of them by the time i'm uh you know eventually gonna get the the holy relic but uh yeah guys that is pretty much that um they did give out free ninhog relic as well and i have 40 of them already uh 40 of the materials 17 us uh, going hottie 17 uh, deer and then four bird right there and then uh, yeah we just have a ton of uh you know uh 
what's it called limit break materials right so you have a ton of those i do need to grind more crimson demon and gray demon actually surprisingly right you would think uh, you know of the one that i need to grind it would be like og and uh, belmos but those are the ones i actually don't need to grind i only need to grind uh, crimson and, and demon uh and uh, gray demon so uh yeah there is that um in terms of uh, true awakening and, and if i you know want to be doing it i do have enough for a human character and i do have enough for a demon uh yeah no so i have no i have unknown i have giant human and demon so i have enough for those four characters but i don't think i want to like true awaken a single character yet on my account because i just don't see the reason to do it um you know the thing is with true awakening if it provided more than just like 1k cc i'd probably do it um, but the fact that it's only 1k cc and that's literally it and you get the 10 percent damage resistance like it's just not worth it for me um and i'd rather just stockpile my lr coins and even my true awakening like coins and ssa uh, SA coins um it's just you know not worth really spending all of them uh like that so there's that though guys um moving on though let's go through the rest of my inventory here and uh we'll finish it up here so yeah i mean i got a lot of stuff in my inventory guys look at all the anvils i do not like make gear very often so you know unless i'm making like a brand new ur gear set other than that i'm stockpiling materials right i'm i'm holding on um we got a lot of awakening stones right there which is really good i think i have a good amount of enhance as well um yeah the account is uh pretty much set uh for pretty much anything that does release so i should be uh good to go um yeah moving on though just the the regular food uh location so i have all of that um yeah in, in this area is nothing too special i have a lot of these boxes eventually i'll open them but uh at the moment i don't need to and then uh yeah uh kind of low on uh, gold and uh and gold boxes as well like you know i always tell you guys 100 million or more is usually my go-to um you know since i'm not at 100 million it is what it is but you know there's nothing that can be done really uh, i'd have to farm uh, a little bit more on the weekend yeah but uh there's the uh, inventory right there though guys let's move on to i guess gear of, of my characters and then i'll show you guys the uh um what's it called the uh, pvp ranking that i'm at as well so yeah a lot of characters still don't have gear on my account so i definitely gotta like fill out hp defense on every single character i am missing a few because i uh, have gotten some new characters so like fast go there um you know goddesses when i did get the free festivals and all that i definitely gotta gear the rest of my box and we're not even completely done here so um definitely a lot of room for improvement there guys and uh, yeah right now we have barely unlocked c5 on the constellation so c5 9 million box you see and i'm able to do rat oscar that is pretty good you know i'd say right that right there is uh actually a pretty good feat um but yeah and then uh moving on from that though let's uh back out of here and we'll go to my pvp section and i'll show you guys what we're doing for that i'll also show you guys my heroes arena and and what we're doing for that as well um uh, for the most part so hopping into pvp though um i think i'm champion two i think in uh ungeared yeah so i'm champion two so we have the rule right now where it's like the double um you know characters you get the you double evade right so i'm running that right now um you know as you guys can see the win rate's not that crazy but again you know it's free to play account i gotta you know whenever i get the chance i'm gonna always be doing pvp to try and make sure i get that champion one just for the extra uh 10 gems a week than usually champion five right um for gear though i haven't really been doing uh you know too much geared i am champion two though but uh, i was actually challenger i think a week or two ago and uh yeah i've just been like uh, accumulating a bunch of these uh, coins and uh yeah i mean i don't really need to be using a lot of the coins though like if we go to the um if you go to the exchange shop here uh yeah i have, a, I have 21 000 so I, I have a lot of things i could definitely buy with it but honestly right now i'm just kind of stockpiling i definitely should get the rest of these though um, which is why I was grinding these coins mainly is just to uh, grab all of these for GP because uh, if you guys don't know and if you haven't gotten these these are free weapons you can get for your characters and uh, they do give you one GP each so you can you know get a bunch of GP um, it would give you a, a fairly good chunk of box DC as well because you're getting um, you know for multiple characters you're getting the uh, the outfit as well so yeah i'll definitely be picking up those uh whenever i get the chance so guys but that is the pvp section right there and then i'll hop into uh heroes arena here and we'll kind of talk about that and uh yeah i mean that is pretty much the account since the, the last time guys um we are at 600 gems as well in terms of that um and uh yeah like you know the thing is with the celebration that we have right now there's a lot of you know gem sources and it's really good um yeah so right here if we go to the exchange shop i have 390 so that means i did uh what is it I did champion i did champion uh what is it two i guess you could say champion two because i got 14 coins and then i got uh 24 plus uh 20 i guess I, okay you guys bad bad uh, math but pretty much i did uh champion one on the first week uh because if you guys don't know you get uh 140 so i got 140 and on the second week i got uh what was it 240 
But I, I think I did four teams or less or, or uh, five teams or less. And then I got the rest from uh, this thing right here. So you get another 10. So uh, yeah, we did uh, compile a good amount. And we still have another three weeks on JP. So I have a good chunk of time till uh, I get the rest of this stuff uh, sorted out. And honestly, since I don't even need LR coins right now, I could probably just focus on like the SA coins and, and the UR pendants right now. Um, since I just don't really need uh, the S or, or the uh, LR coins like that. So uh, yeah, that is kind of the spot I'm in right now though, guys. But yeah, man, I mean, that's pretty much it, though, guys, for the video. And in terms of the update on the account, you know, we've been grinding, guys. And uh, we'll definitely keep it up. Uh, going into uh, May, I definitely want to have uh, at least 900 gems ready for the festival that's going to be coming up. I most likely will be skipping the collab at the end of the month. Because, um, yeah, we're probably going to be getting one uh, end of April, so... We'll definitely see what that's all about. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out and have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.